Edgy Chiefields heading into this fight. I moved around a lot. Now I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. I started in martial arts when I was eight, and I followed my brother, and then I started kickboxing and full contact martial arts, and eventually straight boxing when I was 14. Kickboxing is a rough sport. Last round, Layla. Come on, get to the I met Luis Tapia the year 2000, and we met at a fight, and I was looking for management, and uh, he had me come down to the gym and spar with some guys, and the rest was history. We, we hit it off really well, and uh, he trained me and managed me until I won the world title the first time, and uh, has continued to do so for the past five years. He's my trainer, my manager, my good friend, and uh, without him I'd be lost. I won my first world title when I was 21 years old. I was the youngest at the time. I won the featherweight title, IFBA, and then I went on later to win the GBU junior welterweight title. I, I currently hold the junior welterweight 140 pound world title. Three fights in a row, the two that you mentioned against Tracy Bird and NBA Lisa Lewis and Gary Gold Valencia. I've dealt with a hand injury for the past five years, but it doesn't hinder me. Just a, a bit of a tendon problem where I couldn't close my hand, so I repeatedly injured it punching. Right now it's pretty much a dead weight. I, I can throw it when I need to. It doesn't bother me, it doesn't hurt me. I am grateful that I had a injury in my right hand because my left hand has developed to be a killer. My right hand is also powerful and strong and I don't mind using it. Um, but my jab is, is my best weapon and my brain is actually my number one weapon. To be a great fighter, you have to be a thinking fighter. Same as in, if you want to be successful in life, you have to think and plan. In the ring, you have to think and plan to be a great fighter. If you don't, you're dead in the water. I know she's a good fighter and she's very popular here in Edmonton, uh, which would make fighters worried when you come to the hometown of somebody. But um, I'm looking forward to the challenge. The last time Jelena and I fought, I won a six round unanimous decision. It was a good fight. Um, I think it could have been more action-packed, and um, I'm going to work to improve that this time. I know that Jelena felt that she didn't do her full performance, what she could is capable of doing. Um, I also plan to step it up in this fight. So if we both bring our levels higher, this fight is going to be one that you don't want to miss. Success can be measured in different ways. I think that fighting the best makes me a better fighter, and so when they called me for the fight with Jelena, I took it without hesitation because I know that beating her once doesn't make me a great fighter. Beating her twice doesn't make me a great fighter. Just rising to the occasion every time will make me the best fighter. Well, we can't wait to see Layla McCarter tonight, but a lot of people are asking, who is Jelena Martinovic? Let's find out. I was born in Hay River, Northwest Territories, and I grew up um, just outside of Edmonton. When I finished high school, I decided I want to come to U of A and, and try out for the basketball team, and um, unfortunately, I had an injury my first year, very first practice, so I didn't spend a lot of time with, with the Pandas, but um, got my knee, my knee uh, reconstructed, and the rehab is a long, tiring process, so I was the typical person who didn't think boxing involved a whole lot, and um, when I went from there, I kind of came down and, you know, it opened a whole new world for me. And I started at a gym just uh, just on 124th Street here and um, was there for about a year and then I met up with Milan and we decided to turn pro from there. In Edmonton, there is a Serbian community and that's basically where we come from. He kind of started coaching me out of a favor to my dad, kind of. We, I ran into him actually at a restaurant and and uh, he just popped down by the gym one day and we kind of, we just never left each other's side since then. When I fought Layla, um, we tried a bunch of different things um, for training and, and trying to use some, some different, uh, different strategies and, and different techniques. And uh, one of the things being was training with Tony Badia. I don't think it worked out to my benefit. I, you know, a lot of things that Milan, Milan and I do well together, Tony and I didn't do well together. 
and um, it's just you know sometimes you fit with a coach sometimes you don't it's it's a kind of you live and you learn experience um, I went into the fight with Layla and you know my head wasn't there people were telling me she's a top-ranked fighter and she's a Vegas Vegas fighter with all the Vegas pizzazz and all this stuff and boxing is a mental game and when you let someone get in there like that it, it's tough it's tough to overcome I don't think I ever thought I was going to lose to her. I, I really thought I'd be able to pull it off. Uh, in my head, after that fight, I thought it was a lot closer on the scorecards. The scoring was atrocious. It was disappointing, you know, to know that I won rounds and she stole them in the last five seconds. You know, that's not boxing. You know, uh, anybody who's, who, who knows boxing and who's watched the tape and who was at the fights knows that, that that's not how we saw it. That's not how anybody saw the fight. I want redemption. I, I know I can beat her. My big strength is body punching. I, I find a lot of people can't take a body punch, be it female or male, especially when you hit them in the right spot. I don't know, I, I enjoy attacking the body because I think once you, once you hit the body, you can work off so many other angles. You just don't know where, it's, where punches are coming from. For me, I think the difference between winning that fight and losing it was four punches, four jabs around. Like, it was something so minute that uh, it was frustrating. It's extremely frustrating to know that if I would have thrown three or four jabs around, I would have won the fight. So that's one of the things that we really have been working on and just letting my hands go and relaxing. For me, this is just another fight. Um, I know it's gonna be on Canadian pay-per-view and all that jazz, but for me, it's just another fight. And as a fighter, like I said, I just go in there and I fight who's put in front of me. No matter what, for me it's just And here we go, folks. We are getting set for the main event. And we just want to let everybody know that the people from Rocket Sock Productions have helped put this whole thing together in association with KO Boxing Promotions and Independent Jewelers. Jelena Mergenovich taking on Layla McCarter. It is a junior lightweight or actually a lightweight championship uh, title elimination bout so this is not for a belt per se but what it is actually Mia is an elimination bout for a possible shot at the Women's International Boxing Association uh, world title so one of these ladies uh, whoever wins tonight will have an opportunity to most likely fight for a world championship. Right, and both girls are definitely deserving of this title. Um, both are elite fighters, have a lot of heart. Um, both have fought tough opposition. It's going to be an exciting fight. And speaking of the Women's International Boxing Association rankings, uh, Jelena Marjinovic right now is sitting at number six in the world. And there's a look right there at the previous meeting between these two uh, headliners tonight. 59-55 uh, in favor of Layla McCarter. 59-55, 59-55. So you take a look at that, and uh, that particular vote uh, was uh, definitely, uh, it seems it, by the scorecards, dominated by Layla McCarter. Right, and you know that Jelena wants her redemption, so she's probably going to come in fierce tonight. Well, those two fighters, of course, they battled uh, last February in what turned out to be just a, a great battle as far as a lot of the uh, boxing fans were concerned. And we're kind of hoping to see the same thing tonight. Oh, I have no doubt that they'll see an exciting fight tonight. They'll definitely get what they paid for. I have no doubt about that. And Layla McCarter, of course, picking up that win. That was uh, back in February. And it was a six-round fight. I'm just double-checking it. Here's a look pressure at Pressure is the key to beating me in this fight. Um, but I am going to have a rude awakening for her on Saturday because uh, no matter what she does, the result will be the same. I will win this fight. Well, when you've beaten a fighter once before, there's no question that you have the confidence coming into the ring again. Oh, yeah, she definitely. Well, you know, Layla's a confident, confident girl anyway. Um, and rightly so. She should be. She's uh, one of the best fighters in the world. 
Lance mentioned before we went into that clip, their last fight was a six-rounder, so it is a little different uh, situation this time around, as they will be fighting eight rounds in the world title elimination bout. And there's a look at Layla McCarter, 26 years old, from Las Vegas, Nevada. 18, 10, and 4 is her record. And of course, uh, during uh, that time, with a uh, total of 32 fights under her belt, she has faced some pretty tough opposition. She has, and once again, you see how records can be so deceiving. Um, a lot of Layla's losses came at the beginning of her career. Um, and I would assume the rest of them, or a lot of them, were just poor decisions. comes as you can tell by the crowd. along with Kale Boxing Promotions and Independent Jewelers bring you the main event tonight. Jelena Mirjinovic taking on Layla McCarter. And there you see the records of these two boxers. They have fought before, and it was Layla McCarter walking away with a six-round decision. You can see, again, we've got another fight where one person has a bit of an advantage over the other. Let's go now to our ring introductions and Ron Rimmer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Tremaculous Tilt we've all been waiting for. The main event featuring eight rounds of boxing in the lightweight division. A Women's International Boxing Association world title elimination bout. Introducing to you first, in the red corner, she weighed in at 129 pounds. Her pro record, 18 victories, 10 losses, and four draws. She hails from Las Vegas, Nevada, Please welcome Leela McCarter! And in the blue corner, she weighed in at 135 pounds. She brings to the ring a pro record of 11 victories, just one loss from the City of Champions, Jelena Major! waiting for is now just seconds away as Glenn Rodinovich has an opportunity for redemption and that is the word that she has been using for the past few weeks promoting this fight is that she is out for redemption. She is. I think you can definitely see in her face tonight. But, you know, she's up against Leila McCormick who like I said is one of the best in the world so she's going to have her hands full tonight. Well, the chants of Jelena have already started here at the Shaw Conference Center. The place is jam-packed, and we're very proud to bring it to you. Here we go, our main event. Scheduled for eight rounds, a Women's International Boxing Association World Title Elimination Bout, 22-year-old Jelena Marginovich against 26-year-old Leila McCarter. Break, break! Marginovich and the sequin trunks. Layla McCarter in the black and white. Don't hold him there. Layla getting in some really good jabs. Starting out very aggressive. She's 
she knows she's going to be in his hometown, so she knows she's going to do something that she deserves to win. Yeah. 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 And Jelena is fighting in front of her hometown crowd. She's fighting the boxer that she's lost to before. So she has to be feeling some pressure to obviously be impressive in this boat. Very skilled 
fighter. But if I were Jelena, I think I would stay, I would try and box her a little bit more and stay, keep my distance, stay on the outside. From tight end, Layla McCarter has obviously thrown some second shots. Round number three of our main event here tonight. Glad you could join us. Jim Fonseca along with Neil Rosales St. John. As we bring you this main event from a Pat Shaw Conference Center in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Visto again giving the ladies some instructions whether it has to do with holding them up like sure. Cut just misses by the Actually had Layla against the ropes for a moment. Again, Layla fights great against the ropes. Left hook to the base of the end
be faced by the country. Exhausted, or was trying to save herself. Yeah, I'm. I'm surprised. Um, Layla is in such good condition. I'm surprised to see her a little bit looking as if she's a little bit tired. Again, you don't know because Layla is a very smart fighter. I know that she knows what she's doing in there. Um, but I have to say, it looks like she's tiring a little. And she's against the ropes an awful lot in the last couple rounds. So. Looks like they have the doctor come in in between rounds and take a look at Layla. She is ready to go. Round number seven. This is round number seven. We're only scheduled for eight here at the Shaw Conference Center in Edmonton, Alberta. Last round dominated by Jelena Marjinovic in the sequin trunks. Layla McCarter in the black and white. What do you think? Jelena's corner was telling her, go out and be as busy again and look for that knockout, or play it smart. Yeah, I would say stick to the game plan because it seems to be working so far. Um, you know, as long as Jelena doesn't tire out, we'll see. You can never be too sure of yourself when you're in there with Layla McCarter. Jelena seems to be hitting to the back of the head, holding to the back of the head a lot. Little slow of pace here at round number seven. It almost looks like Layla McCarter is fighting with one hand. I don't know if you've noticed that, Mia, but I've certainly noticed it. Her left hand, she isn't using it at all.
behind that left hand to even be an extra softball. I don't know if it could be a shoulder injury or This is the eighth and final round of our main event. Jelena Marginovic in the sequence trumps against Layla McCarter, who's in the black and white. And McCarter isn't even lifting that, that, left, that left arm and that, that almost makes me think, Mia, yeah, it's not a hand problem, it's a shoulder problem where she's right. probably having difficulty just lifting her arm where it's right. painful. That's how I see it also. Um, and you can see what a warrior she is. She just, nothing's going to get in her way. Well, this makes a big difference in the fight because you know that when a person gets injured like this and they can't get their full 100%, uh, I know even for Jelena Marginovic, if she does walk away the victor in this fight, it, it's tough to take it when you fight somebody with only one. Carter can't even hang on with that uh, bad arm, so... But you're watching probably the two best fighters in women's boxing right now. Some good shots by the Carter with this one arm. She dropped a couple of... Fighter. Couple of, couple of lefties in there. Seconds to go in the eighth and final round. And what has been a wild fight. Still hard to say how the judges will score it as we await the final results. It looks as if they are in. Let's go to Ron Rimmer. He's sitting in the ring with the final decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. Judge William Warwick Jr. scores it 78-75. Judge Usman Ali scores it 79-74. And Judge Ken Rudd scores it 79-73. All for the winner, by unanimous decision, Jelena Marjano! Jelena went to grab uh, Layla McCarter's arm and raised it. McCarter yelled at her right away and basically said, hey, leave that alone. So she really injured it. I'm going to see if I can get her really quick. I'm just going to see if I can get the... Uh, okay, well, that's great. I'll, I'll let you go. I know you're hurt. The doctor probably has to get a look at Congratulations on this win. Now, you suffered a loss to Layla in your last fight. How important was this fight to you? Well, this fight was personal for me. Uh, just finish up with some unfinished business, and it's all about redemption tonight. And you look so well conditioned in this fight. I mean, I can't believe you kept going for eight rounds. How did you train for this fight differently than you did for the last one with Layla? You know, I think it's just all a mentality. Now we have nothing to lose, and uh, all we have to do is work hard and, and make it fun. And uh, my coach and I worked really hard, and. Uh, all the hard work's done in the gym, this is the easy part. Do you think it's easier to fight in your hometown with your family and friends, or does it put more pressure on you? Uh, I love fighting in front of my family and friends. We had a huge crowd tonight, it was awesome. I love fighting in Edmonton, and uh, 
You know, I want to thank all the people that made it happen and Independent Jewelers and KO Boxing for making it happen in Edmonton. Do you think you'd have a rematch with Layla? Um, absolutely. I want to knock her out next time, so for sure. Well, congratulations on your win. You did an awesome job. Thank you. And thank you, Mia Rosales St. John, for that excellent interview. It was a great fight, and...